In this video, I want to talk to you very briefly about permutations and how you solve word problems using Desmos involving permutations. Let's start with the basics. Okay, so first off, these this is going to be a lot at once, but permutations and combinations are two similar things. They're about looking at how many different possibilities there are when you have a group or an arrangement. Now, the difference is that permutations are about arrangements and combinations are about groups. The other way that people remember this, they say that permutations are places when the order matters, okay? And so we're gonna see a couple examples and then we're gonna talk through how we can tell the difference between the two. But this video, we're gonna focus on permutations and how we get the answers, okay? We're also gonna look at some repetition in example four and what we do in those particular situations. So the first example, how many different ways can the first, second, and third place result from a race of eight rabbits? You're doing a race of rabbits. There's eight contestants. And so this is going to be, there's a bunch of different possibilities. And that's really what permutations and combinations are about. How many different possibilities? But this one talks about possibilities and it has an order that matters. In other words, if we were to say uh, Peter Flopsy and Mopsy went first, second, and third, it would matter if we change the order, right? Because it depends on which one comes first, second, and third. If I switch them around in a different order, then it would change the results. So this is a permutation because order matters. Now, I showed you a formula on the last slide, but you don't have to memorize that formula. It is on a lot of formula sheets that are given to you when you take standardized tests. But even more importantly, you don't even need to use it. So we're going to use Desmos to solve this problem. And all you have to type in is NPR and then 8 and 3. So 8 is our total number. The big number has to come first. And 3 is how many we're choosing. And it'll go ahead and calculate that for us. Okay? If you just type in NPR in Desmos, it'll automatically get what you're saying. But it might be easier to go in and click on the... Uh, statistics and you'll see NPR and then you just have to put the eight and the three in there why did I pick eight and three because I had eight total and three that I was choosing let's look at another example of 11 students on a track team how many different ways can a four-person relay team be formed so we have 11 students we're choosing from and we're picking four of them so out of 11 four so you can already guess what this is going to look like now I want to make a point here of why this is a permutation and not a combination. Because I can pick four people, and if I take the same four people and I change the order that they run in, usually that's gonna result in a different race, okay? And if you've ever done track and field, there's somebody that might be the best person to start a race, and it might matter who finishes the race. So I'm treating this as a permutation because if I change the same four people and put them in a different order, I'm treating that like it's a whole different team. So when I type that in, I get NPR 11.4, and my answer is 7,920 different ways. It With permutations, a lot of times the numbers will seem huge. Like you're like, how could it be that many options? And that's kind of the trick of using these kind of math is that it's going to be big numbers. How many ways can the letters in the word Harley be arranged using all the letters? So this is a very typical type of permutation problem. They say, here's a word, here are the letters. If we were to rearrange them and use all the letters, then how many letters are we choosing from? And how many letters are we choosing? Well, we're choosing from six and we're gonna use all six. So our permutation ends up being six, choose six. And I could rearrange those letters in 720 different ways. If I counted Harley as one of them, then I could just put the H at the end and call it Harley with an H at the end and that'd be a, a second one. They wouldn't all make sense, but there are 700 different ways to arrange those six letters. I want to look at one more example. This one has repetition, okay? How many ways can the letters in the word Batman be arranged? Batman is also six letters. But if I were to switch the two A's in Batman, it would still say Batman. So we need to account for the fact that not all of the different combinations would actually be unique or distinct because if I switch the A's, it still says the same thing. 
So we have to kind of take that repetition out. And the way we do that is we do the NPR, we're saying six, choose six, just like we did on the other word problem. Except this time, we have to divide by two factorial. And the reason we do that is we have to say, well, half of those are gonna be, there's gonna be two repeats. Every time we have two A's and we flip them around, we're gonna get twice as many as we should. And so this ends up being only 360 because we're taking out half of the options. If there were three A's, if I were using the word banana, for example, I'd need to put three factorial. But you'll notice that in banana, I also repeat ends. So I'd have to take out the ends repeating. So I could have multiple things there on the bottom. Thank you so much. I hope that helped. That was really brief, meant to just get you rolling on your exercise that you might have for homework.